Hi guys, today I want to do some troubleshooting video on this D-Link switch, uh, Gigabit switch. It died on me recently. He was working, th this thing was working for about uh, two years and uh, it was actually working perfectly fine, it was nothing. And one day it just, you know, just died. So uh, I'd like to open it and to see what's inside. Maybe you'll find it interesting as well. And uh, uh, try to troubleshoot it, maybe, you know, there's some capacitors or something you can replace and fix uh, but from what I can see probably we don't have that much of a luck so I'll show you what's happening is it okay so we have some power um, so this power supply is uh, seven and a half volt which is quite uh, rare I think because all of my switches and routers I have they and, and, and you know cable modem since you name it they usually 12 volt so this one is seven and a half um, well, I guess this is the link way of doing stuff. Well, actually, to be fair, uh, the other replacement switch uh, I got, uh, which is 100 megabit replacement for this, like temporary replacement, is actually 7.5 volts as well. So, I guess, uh, major maybe there is a category of switches which actually use 7.5 volts. Uh, so, yeah, but other switches I have, like uh, Belkin, they are 12 volt switches. All right, so let's power it up and I'll show you what's really happening. So this thing powers up. All LEDs are lit and then it's just start blinking, like some random blinking. And just keep blinking. Doesn't matter if you plug in cable or not, it just all five ports are blinking the same way. So definitely busted. All right, well, let's peek inside. Maybe we can do something. Well, you see model, which is DGS1005D. I had it for in the box for like about two years. Uh, I was unused and then he actually served me like two years and then just died all of a sudden, absolutely suddenly. So let's uh, open it up. Just two screws, no big deal. That's pretty simple. Okay, let's um, remove those two screws. And actually it's only two screws, like uh, there is a placement for third one. Well, obviously it's not here. Okay, well, uh, let's examine this PCB. So it's essentially this is what expected. This is um, some sort of um, embedded processor. It'll be nice to see what's in there. Uh, power. Um, this is probably power supply uh, side of the business. This is like optical insulators. Oh, interesting. So that's supposed to be a um, uh, diode bridge, but looks like it was, you know, they just throw some jump links, like who cares about, you know, what if somebody plug in like, a, you know, AC or I don't know, like uh, reverse polarity stuff. So yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna bust all the circuits here. I'm actually looking at those uh, capacitors and I'm noticing that they actually bulged all of them. Uh, I don't know if it's the... Uh, it's supposed to be like that, but like this little one is fine, but these guys, they have a... Uh, they bulged, not much, but... Except this, this guy's fine. No, this guy's fine. All these, like these, 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 and this, and this, and this, all bulged. Interesting. Downside is fine. Looks like uh, the CPU had some uh, heat going on because the, if you you can see how brown uh, spot like underneath the CPU. Interesting.
well that's a potential uh, problem like if those caps are like failing or at least one of them are, is failing so CPU not getting proper power supply so proper power and you know it can get all wonky so just for giggles I can show you how like this is the proper uh, Nippon Chemicon cap and it you know looks pretty good pretty flat so yeah I'll try to zoom in you know to see how you know how bad is the bulge maybe will be better when I zoom in my camera so here's zoomed in um, image of the uh, capacitors so it's actually it's not that bad it's not that obvious but uh, it still look like it they are bulged like there's a difference between this one and for example this one right so this one's fine this one's slightly bulged and all of them except this one so here we are um, attempt to th this is essentially tear down of the dealing uh, DGS 1005D uh, 1 gigabit switch uh, I suspect I have to uh, I suspect this capacitors all those eight capacitors are dead this is the cause of the de uh, of the problems with this um, switch I'm not sure what else is gonzo but the <laughs> capacitor definitely capacitors definitely are um, well I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you for watching bye